Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to continue with our layer mask series and we're going to go over the transform mask. So we're going to right click, I'm going to go onto my clear layer and show you what this does. I'm going to go down to add and transform mask. So right now nothing is happening. I can't paint on it. I actually have no ability to click and drag. But if I go to my transform tool, I can go and transform that. So if I want to add any shapes or fill buckets or anything, it will give you warnings. You just can't do it. But the transform tool, which is right here, does work. I'm going to go to my tool options just because we have a couple different things going on here. And I'm just going to start warping the color completely. So you can see how crazy that looks. All right. Uh, a little, a little funky looking. All right, so let's say like that's the transform I'm gonna do. All right, so as you can see, we transformed that and made it crazy. Now, if I turn this layer off, the transform mask, you can see it is perfectly normal. Nothing's wrong with it. The color is still there the way I want it to, to be. And if I turn this back on, I think my computer is not too fond of all this stuff going on, but um. I just clicked and then hit enter again just to make that reappear. I think that's a me problem, it should not be a you problem. But the transform that I did with the color is there. So if you are working with some a bunch of layers and you need to transform something, let's say you're working with an environment and you need to warp part of it but you're not sure if you like it or not, the transform mask is going to really help you make those edits without completely destroying all that work you did. So if this were a tree or something, I could be like, oh yeah, we're going to form it like this, and then this is perfect, right? Perfect position, all that good stuff. Hit enter, and now it's there. I don't know why this is still there, but I'm going to ignore it for now. I think it's just chugging along right now for some reason. But anyway, um, you can basically make those edits and transform it to your heart's desire, and not ruin your original layer. That's why these masks are so important. I'm going to trash that. I'm going to make a new one with a less um, memory and like required um, oops major transform. Okay, here we go. So I just made my box. I'm just going to quickly transform it. Perfect. When I hit enter, let's say I'm going to compare it to the original. I can turn the visibility on and off. Come on. Oops. There we go. And yeah, it's still there. So if I don't like it, I can just delete that entire uh, transform mask. If I do like it, I can keep it. I can keep it. I cannot convert it to a paint layer. But in the last video, I did show that you can use a little trick if you have a transparent background. There we go. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, where you can have this vis um, all visible set up. Make sure any layer you don't want is um, hidden. And you can go right click in the layers docker anywhere and hit new layer from visible. And now you have this layer, this lovely warped layer. Move that down, turn line art back on, there you go. And that's just a way to use your transform mask and make it a permanent layer to edit later on. And that's basically it for the transform mask. There's nothing else super fancy with it. It's just a way to transform things in that layer without destroying it completely. As always, thank you for, so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.